In this video we are talking about how to make the first date amazing and less awkward. And some tips how to impress your crush on the first date. Ahoy! And welcome to another relationship talk video with Simi and Danny. In this series we are talking about any kind of relationship related problems or questions coming from you. We are posting every Thursday at 8 p.m. CET, either a travel or a couple vlog, or we are doing a live stream. So if you don't want to miss new videos on our channel and be a part of the Stereotype Fighters community, then you consider, consider to, to subscribe. subscribe. <laughs> We chose today's topic because we get sometimes comments and messages from mostly guys, I think. Yeah. <laughs> um, they are telling us or asking us how they should behave on a first date. Or they want some advice. Exactly, because they go on the first date. So we give you tips for the first date, how to make it amazing, how to make it less awkward, yeah. maybe even how to behave, some advice for you. And try to generalize this so you can apply it to your date, to your needs, like everybody can take something from it. We divided this video into three sections to organize it a little bit more. We will talk about tips before the date, mm -hmm. then most importantly during the date and after. And I think that three phases of the first date are quite important and I think it is also quite interesting because yeah. you can or you don't have to but you can think about certain things that can make everything much more easier for you. Let's start with the tips before you go on a date. So of course the first 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 thing on a first date what you have to prepare um, I mean make yourself nice right? Yeah, of make course. yourself nice. Obvious. <laughs> <laughs> I mean it's a general thing but we say it for people maybe some people don't know it maybe they would go in a jogging pants or with a dirty shirt, you know, yeah. try to look your best, you know. I think girls are impressed also by clothes in a way. Yeah. But a question for you, it doesn't have to be like that you have to go with an Armani suit, right? Yeah, really not. I, that's what I just wanted to say. Definitely get ready, shower, feel your best, look <laughs> your best, everything. But I think also as a girl, you should not overdo it and you should definitely not play something you are not. You know what I mean? Like if the guy asks for a date, a girl that is like hipster style or some uh, rocky girl or punk girl because he likes that kind of girl and then a Barbie with boobs out and high heels comes, <laughs> you know? It, be yourself and don't make too much effort if it's not you just because yeah. you think it should be like that. I actually think that's a good point because it's really like that. I mean, the guy is asking you already out from what he sees before that, so yeah. you don't have to do something super special. Make the Trust. best version of you. The second thing I think is the most important before the day is, of course you are nervous. Of course. That's I mean, normal, everyone that's normal. is. But go there with good mood and positive mind. Be open-minded, exactly. Yeah. And I always say also to Simi, if we meet new people, have a good mood, have a good mindset, yeah. but also let it come to you. Let it just happen. You should go there with a good mood and maybe if you had like the complete worst day ever and you are in a bad mood or you are super sad or something happened to you, maybe you should put the date on another day? <laughs> because I mean if you go there already like in a horrible mood, most probably it's not going to start well. First impressions are very important. Yeah. For me it's an awkward thing and maybe it's also for you. If you meet the first time, you sometimes just don't know how to even say hello. Uh, greetings and the things greetings. like that, definitely. Do you give just a hand? Is it like a kiss left and right, you know? Uh, is it a hug? Is it... Yeah. Exactly. I, I definitely think a hug is a safe thing. You can basically say and ask, hey, can I hug you for a greeting, for example? Yeah. That's, a, that's completely fine, right? Yeah. It's like, hey, can I say hi, uh, can I hug you for... And then it's just like a little, you don't have to be like, oh, oh. That, that's what I meant. So, you know, you just give it yeah. like a little, hmm, and it's Yeah, nice. and actually with this I can connect it and we are coming to the most important point that is, I think, over the whole date, before, <laughs> during and after. I'm curious. Talk about your emotions. Verbalize what you think. 
Mm. And mm. say it, I don't think it's a problem at all, and I always do it as well. Or did it before. <laughs> <laughs> I really even say it if I am nervous. I mean, why not? Totally. I say, totally. oh, I'm so nervous, but this is nice, or something. Mm -hmm. It's not a problem. You don't have to pretend. You yeah. can say, hey, I'm, so, I'm nervous, how do you feel, and so on. I know that some yeah. people have a problem to talk about the feelings. Yeah. But it doesn't have to it's be very so, important. It doesn't have to be so strict, you know. You don't you don't have to feel like do you have to say like oh now I, I like you or like this. You can just say about your yourself and your feeling. Yeah, but a little compliment is often the best. A compliment is always good. I mean you don't have to say uh you look amazing, what ama you don't have to overdo it again. If you are not the type um, for it. Huh? Yeah, but I mean you can say nice dress, nice hair or I always say if the guy smells good, I say you smell good. <laughs> that, that's almost like a trick already. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because you hug and then you're like, oh, it's not good. And it, it's giving him confidence a little yeah. bit. You have to watch your confidence and your self esteem that it's kind of on a good level. <laughs> and also, you should try to help the other person yeah, to, yeah. to embrace his confidence. If you want to make it the least awkward as possible, make the plan of the activity before. Exactly. I would say so as well. At least as a guy, I think as a guy, make yourself a little plan. Some plan, yeah. If there will be nothing coming up what you would both like to do or the other person is completely shy, you know, mm -hmm. and it's like, oh, I don't know and so on, mm -hmm. then just you just put out your emergency plan, which is like, I know where to go, this is a nice place, I want to show it. Yeah, to you. also definitely a lot of girls expect guy to take the lead just because they want to see if he can do that. And I have to say, if you are the one who is going to suggest a place, a little tip is a public place, okay? Please don't call a girl to your place <laughs> to Netflix and chill on a first date. I mean, come on, it's like... Yeah. <laughs> okay, we have the plan, we have good mood, we look our best, we have the perfume on, we have everything. We are going there and we are meeting the person we hack. <laughs> we ask if or we can something. Hug. I would ask. Okay, what's the next thing you would say is like super good tip? It's really important to ask the other person questions, I would say. Tip number <laughs> absolute, I mean, ask about the job or what she's studying, for example. It depends where you are, of course, in life. Yeah. And you can start simple, just ask how was your day? First thing, nice. Absolutely, good absolutely. Make it about that other person more than about you. And if it's mutual, then you have that sparky conversation when you ask each other questions and that's what you exactly, want. Exactly. So ask questions and be interested genuinely in what that person is answering you. And you find things that you have in common or maybe yeah. not, or it's just interesting and you just directly get into it. So another good tip and essential thing is body language. And it's your body language and also a body language you can see on your partner. You can see if the person is always like shy or going back or maybe even looking on the phone. What is that? Like you should really put your phone on the side, you know? <laughs> or, like, rule, yeah. or like looking <laughs> away. Once I was on a date when the guy was always looking so obviously on other girls, like really like following them and everything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, Checking there are things out. you really can <laughs> see on body language and I mean if there is no way you can read that person then ask them. Do you like it? How do you feel? Is it okay for you? Mm. That's not the questions the other person can answer. Yeah, it's also nothing bad about it I think. You can really, yeah. that, you can really use that. Yeah. Okay, what about these stereotypical tips and tricks you can see everywhere on the internet like laugh about his jokes and things like that. What do you think about that kind of thing? Be genuine, just be yourself and if it's funny, laugh. If it's not funny, you can say lame and it's funny as well because you give yeah. something back, you know, it, but it depends so much who you have in front Definitely. of you. If the guy is just like saying something and you're like, ho, 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 you know, don't <laughs> make forced situations, yeah, like yeah, be yeah. yourself. Yeah. And it can be awkward and a little bit nervous and you can be shy and everything. And all this is cool and it's like a mixture of emotions. But there is one little tip that is very common. Because so many people when they are nervous, they tend to have too many alcoholic drinks. 
Oh. <laughs> you know, maybe you should really think about that to watch to not get wasted on your first date. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> I, think, I think it's a no-go to get completely drunk. You know, if you're drunk, you make decisions you maybe don't want to make or yeah. you do things, you know. So just maybe the first first date, I would say, and also Cindy says, yeah, don't get drunk. No, don't get absolutely drunk. Do you think there should be a rule like no kissing and no other things? I on think the first many day? people have that rule, and it's yeah. also okay if they have. Absolutely. But many people don't, and that's also okay. It's everybody's individual thing. But something about this rule, what is really important, is to Public just public place. <laughs> <laughs> to just stand for yourself what you want. Mm -hmm. So if you are on the first date with someone for whom it's completely okay to go to the bank on the first date, but you are not like that. I think there is so easy way to tell him, yeah. look, I really like you, I would want to see you again, God yeah, can even yeah, say yeah. that, but I'm sorry, I have a rule for myself to not do this. And I think you also show the guy, oh, that's a strong woman, mm -hmm. you know? I think that can be actually attractive. Sure, but it can be also a guy. Who, yeah. who is like that, you know, and the girl would like to do something, but the guy is like, no, I'm, I'm not a person like that. Yeah, so it's important or to I say, like I like you, it's just that I am not doing this because Absolutely. of my personal beliefs or whatever. Absolutely. So another thing is, of course, respect each other. Yeah. But that's basically what we want to say, like, do what you really feel like and don't pretend yeah. and and do and be yourself. Don't do forced things, you know. Yeah. No. Okay, after the date. You mean like after you you directly parted ways already? Directly after a date. There is something called the three days rule. And it's like you should, even if you are interested like crazy, you should not give too much, so you should not like contact that person for, for the days. next three days. I personally think it's a complete stupidity. To be honest, if I would be on an amazing date and then the guy would not write me or contact me in three days, I would be super much disappointed in him and sad It would about be for it. you like, oh, he's not interested. He doesn't like me. It was not good enough for him, yeah. so it's like, okay, that was nothing. I... And then he contacted me in three days, just like, by the way, so I'm like the second choice or what? That would go on me completely, like, <laughs> like no. Yeah, I also think so, even directly after the date, you know, you parted ways, you are at home, you can maybe even write a message and say, hey, I hope you uh, arrived safe or, at home. thank you one more time for a nice evening. Thanks for the nice date, I had yeah. a great time, good night. Definitely. Things like that. Of course. Of course. Do don't not overdo, overdo it. it. Okay? <laughs> you don't have to come home, write 700 messages, next day you call on the breakfast, and then afterward you write a poem, okay? Don't overdo it. But one message or one clean sign that it was nice and like another like reassurement on the top is nice. Even the next day then you can you can write and say hey good morning I was thinking about you I still liked it very much and so on. Try to think a little bit logic don't get on people's nerves and don't but, have stupid rules. But sh don't have that super strict rules with yeah. the three days. Yeah. Anyway. And these stupid rules are also sometimes applying for this don't answer the message immediately. Jesus Christ, if you have the phone and it beeps and you read it, you can answer immediately. Yeah. It's not so big problem. You don't I have think to, so too. You don't have to wait two hours, you know? Yeah. Don't have over the top stupid rules from the movies or something. And but the other way around as well. Other way around. If well. he or she is not answering directly, it doesn't mean that she is not interested or doesn't want to or whatever. It is just maybe that she has she or he has something at the moment to do. Yeah. Like she with family or being on another uh, meeting with friends, you are not always able to directly answer. Yeah. Them. So guys, we hope we give you some general rules you can stretch and apply to different situations in your life and take something from it. Exactly, because actually there are no rules. You really have to <laughs> just go into it open-minded and, and you will see what will yourself. happen. Exactly. <laughs> and we, of course, as always, opening this topic again and either write in the comment section below or go on our forum, 
stereotypefighters.com and there in the section relationship talks you can continue to talk with us about this topic we will be there we will answer we will respond and we can maybe even you can give us something what we forgot or what we missed or you have an amazing point what can what people can benefit from thank you so much for watching if yeah. you want to make us really happy and you liked uh, this video or our content then give us a big thumbs up right now consider to subscribe if you aren't till now thanks for watching see you, see in you the next, next video Ahoy. bye guys